So in the first exercise, the player is standing still and the feeder is just thrown shuttled towards the corner. But this is a good way if you are new or is new with the technique. So you need to get a feeling of how do you actually do this forehand flip. Otherwise, if you are not a very advanced player and this is your type of exercises, this might be why you're not getting better because you're doing these simple exercises. This is categorized as a low level exercise because you can make all the errors you want. There will be no one to judge you and there will be no feedback. You will not lose any point. So be careful of only doing this type of exercises. You need to put it in a context. In this exercise, it's basically the same, but we are now trying to show that we are not, not only doing the lift, we can also do a net shot. So we're not completely fixated when, when stowing, standing there, we can do other shots as well. And that's very important if you can do different shots from each corner. So you must be sure to still be on a very low level type of exercise, but be able to do different shots. And this is just with that. Straight net shot, you can also do cross net shot or cross lift or whatever. Just make sure you are doing another variation so you're not only doing this lift because that's simply too easy. So now the things is going to be a bit complicated. Of course, this exercise is much harder. It's a much higher level. The feeder is standing still just at the baseline performing straight drop shots and the player is moving forward and backward from the center towards the forehand corner so he just added the footwork and still only performing lifts but now there is this instant feedback because there is no room for errors because then the exercise will simply stop so this type of exercise is categorized with an ongoing shuttles which is uh, indicating that the exercise is on a higher level this exercise is basically the same but now we're adding this other option. So the feeder is moving from side to side and the player is performing two variations. Perform two straight lifts and then two cross cut lifts. Just from one side to the other. So he's basically doing the same as the exercise before but now we added a variation. So we make sure that we're able to do different variations. The footwork is also added here. So the player will have to move from the center towards the front forward corner each time and do these two variations from the corner. So this is what characterizes harder exercises. The feeder and the player is both moving along. The player is still working on the forehand uh, lift and is doing it from the, the middle game shot and from the drop shot from the feeder. The feeder moves forward and backwards and also do different variations. It's a quite hard exercise to pull off also for the feeder because there's many places this exercise can go wrong. It makes it much more relevant and you'll get the feedback from when you're playing. This is characterized as a high level exercise and that's because it's very close to a match situation. Les and I is basically just putting each other around on the court but I as a feeder make sure to hit towards Les's front forehand corner plenty of times so as you can practice the forehand lift and other forehand variations uh, multiple times and we need to make sure that we are practicing in a game relevant situation and not just playing with multi shuttles which is a low level exercise but it must be much closer to what we're going to use when playing a match so make sure that you are playing exercises with ongoing shuttles whether this instant feedback where mistakes and errors is critical and is important and not just do multi-feeding where you can make all the mistakes and all the errors you want and it's basically not important but if you want to adapt and learn a new kind of technique multi-feeding is very good to get the feeling of can I use it and make the body work right with this kind of technique but otherwise when you begin to get a feeling of okay this is good then go on and do more advanced exercises with ongoing shuttles and it requires a lot of focus also from the feeder and also from the player to make high level exercise work and i'm sure if you try to adapt this type of high level exercises into your practice 
you will improve as a badminton player. If you want, you can go to my website on shuttlelife.com where I have created many different types of training routines which takes care of this type of progression in exercises. There is a link in the description and I also just show it right here so you can find it whenever you want. From the mid middle game. So now the player has to do different types of... Oh, wait a second, I have a cat here. 